Cristo manda que llevemos el mensaje a las almas que no tienen salvación y dejemos este mundo de maldades que se hace. Ellos inventan miles de cosas intentan y aunque han tratado de tumbarnos han fracasado en sus planes ellos inventan miles de cosas intentan ya no hagas un lado porque con Cristo ahora nosotros somos los inmortales el ritmo el ritmo la el que salió poco de hip hop con mucho reggaeton desde Puerto Rico fue el empresa se rompió el suelo que con esta me destaco 100% de papá 100% gajo directo de aquí desde Santo Domingo con el jíbaro el flaco Tengo material para el gatillero y para el capo Es la palabra santa que cambia el tecato Ven y siembra esta semilla en tu disco compacto Tengo pan de vida para el aliento Dale la oportunidad a Dios Dásela Dios es bueno y para siempre su misericordia no esperes a que te tengamos que visitar en una calma, en un lecho de muerte en tus últimas horas de vida no esperes, aleluya, a que tengamos a la voz y al Dios de los cielos que iban a ir por ti porque te estén muriendo en una cama no esperes que Dios te traiga de la manera que te quiere traer, gloria a Jesucristo de la manera que tú lo obligues a traerte Él quiere hoy hacer algo en tu vida well, we come every week and we, uh, we bring food to give to the, the uh, homeless people and also we take the time to minister to some of the drug addicts that were around this is an area that there's a lot of drug addicts there's a lot of homeless people uh, and they hang around because there are a lot of uh, areas to buy drugs here and uh, we bring we bring uh, the service we preach them the gospel and after we preach the gospel we, we give them some some food some juice and we always make some food for them and after that where we if we have somebody that wants to come back to the center and, and start his rehabilitation his transformation and we take him with us and that's what we do que Dios no necesita una persona como yo que robe, asalte aleluya y me las busque de 20 mil maneras yo creo que Dios no necesita una persona como yo, yo quiero decirte algo antes de que Moisés fuera la persona que fuera, se convirtió en un asesino en un prófugo de la justicia y a ese Moisés, Dios lo levantó aleluya, a llevar al pueblo a través del desierto su hijo unigénito para que todo que aquel quiere no se pierda más tenga la vida eterna porque yo me meto droga yo le decía a mucha gente ya yo no quiero seguir así Uh, since I've been in Team Challenge, well, we've always been doing this. What's new is that we used to just bring the food. And God told me, you know, we're not doing much just bringing the food. we got to do much more. So that's why we, we started bringing us a service. We uh, read the word. We, uh, after the word, we, uh, uh, we sing. Then we, we preach the gospel or we uh, give them some testimony so they can see that God really does restore and God really does transform people. Oh, I'm not ready, Mr. Ching. This is too much. I, I can't express it. How blessed we are. How blessed we are. And what a wonderful opportunity to come and share God's word and share love. Some of these people say they used to sell drugs in this neighborhood. These young men sell drugs in this neighborhood. And the people know them, and now that instead of giving them drugs, they're giving them a Jesus. It's a wonderful testimony. Wonderful. I was talking to uh, a guy named David, and I was talking to another guy who's about a couple years older than me, 18. Um, he's hooked on drugs. That's basically what we got. And he's from Ohio. He's been to St. George. George. And the other, there's another young man that was talking to. He's from Ohio, Connecticut, came in with his mom. He's hooked on drugs. He doesn't, he's not interested in knowing Jesus. He doesn't want to know Jesus. But hopefully that will change. So, and, I, and I'm seeing how blessed we are. He's nice. He's nice. But what can you do? But 
I thank God every day that it's not me, because it could have been me. I come to Puerto Rico to help people learn about Jesus Christ and not, and be, and not be sinners. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. There's no way, like I told all of them, that I came all the way from Salt Lake City for such a time like this, right here, because in the flesh, I would probably want to see, this is where I come from, this is the island that I was born, and I would rather be out there. But through the grace, the only difference between them and me is God's grace and mercy, because otherwise I would be anywhere. But here I am, and I'm just bringing him Christ the hope. And that's basically as it is. If everybody have the home, I would be happy, but some people don't have money, and they take drugs, and that just makes me sad if people don't, if everybody doesn't have a home. This can't be done with email or by Memorex. You have to be there, you have to have the experience, you have to help the people, see what they're going through. There, there was no way that the Holy Spirit could have done His work with us just sending money. When we was in the addiction, we didn't feel important to nobody. We always felt like if people would put us to our side. And now we see how God has people, like you people from Pilgrim Church, that think about us, think about us, that pray for us, and it was really, really important for us for y'all to come and help us spiritual in our spiritual plus in the physical. We know we have some critics and some say, well, why go? Why not just send money? First of all, that's a very simple answer. Number one, the Bible says go. It doesn't say send. And secondly, uh, you cannot replace uh, the relationships and the experiences. Even looking at this video uh, is not going to give you a true picture uh, of the relationship we built and, uh, and, and the difference we made. And so Matthew 28 says go. It didn't say sin. It says go. And we are Bible believing people. And I just want to encourage all of our church members uh, to, to support missions. Our next trip is Panama. And we, and we want you to support it. And uh, because um, the gospel of Jesus Christ is life changing. And we need to all work together um, to make sure these mission trips are a success. Because it's what the Lord told us to do. We're going to do home missions as well. But we're also going to do foreign missions. And every member of New Pilgrim Baptist Church should be proud that they're a member of a church that's not only taking the gospel to their local church, to their local neighborhood, uh, but we're going to take the gospel to the world. We're going to be in line with the Bible, which is, also, which is in line with our mission statement. So thank you. Gracias, Señor.